with this factor plot which is nothing but a cat plot we are done with categorical plots now we will start with distribution plot where i have been showing you that we will learn four plots but as a bonus i'm gonna increase this list and we would learn now seven plots starting with hist plot so let's go ahead and see what is it actually try to understand so for example you have been given this data set and you need to make some analysis to increase the spins pattern so you will start with this total variable which is nothing but the total of transaction amount done by each of the customer so possibly you would like to see the distribution of this total that means you might be interested in seeing how many transactions have been done for the transaction amount range between 0 to 200 200 to 201 to 400 and so on and for that you can create a chart which looks something like this here if you see then you are getting a clear picture that for 0 to 200 there are somewhere 400 and 70 transactions similarly for 201 to 400 there are somewhere 275 transactions and so on so this is nothing but a hist plot or histogram plot so using c bond library you can create many beautiful histogram plots which looks something like this hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon before we proceed further let's have a look at its definition as per its official website a histogram is a classic visualization tool that represents the distribution of one or more variables by counting the number of observations that fall within discrete bins that's the nature of the hist plot and this is what a hist plot function does this function can normalize the statistic computed within each bin estimate frequency density or probability mass etc using hist plot you can do all of these things further we you can also use kde plot and so on we will see that now the last thing we will just have a quick look at its argument this is the complete syntax and list of arguments which you can use with hist plot but definitely here we're going to use only those which are most frequently so here we are in jupyter notebook and here i have imported all the required libraries here i just imported the mart data frame and here i have just made a subset of it keeping some specific variables which we will be using in our practice the first thing which we're gonna do is create a basic histogram let's try that how can we do that it's very simple as we have been doing just say hist plot and in that you want to use data equals to mart and then supply the x variable which is total and then you can you would have this bin ready like you can see from 0 to 200 you have this bin transaction and if you see the overall distribution you, by looking at this you can simply say that most of the transactions are done in total for less than 400 so if you see most of the population are lying in the bracket of 0 to 400 you can also say that the data is skew skewed towards left left skewed data is this now if you want to make it horizontal you can do that as well just change the axis previously we did that on x-axis now it's on y-axis so this is how you can create a very basic histogram moving forward we will try to change the width of each of the bins and let's see what changes that we see and how meaningful does that looks so for the sake of timing what i'll do is i'll just copy paste the above syntax change the axis again back to x and this time i am going to use bin width and bin width let's say three and see what happens oh three is too thin let me just make it 30 still thin let me make it 150 then this is how you can see the different meaning i mean how it uh, not exactly meaning but the appearance right 
still it shows you the same information it remains the same right so between 0 to 200 you have this many transactions now moving forward here it says change number of bins and intervals let's try that now let's first have a look on this i will just make it x and then i will copy this let's let's do this now here if you see between 0 to 200 you have three histograms three bars so first bar represents that there are 140 transactions 140 transactions which is ranging between somewhere 70 right so this is becoming little difficult so what you can do is you can increase the number of bins over here so let's say 30 number of bins now between 0 to 200 you have three to five five bins now you can divide them 200 by 5 somewhere 40 each bin represents a range of 40 0 to 40 for transaction amount 0 to 40 you have this many transactions then 41 to 80 you have this many transactions still this is this looking complicated let's change the interval let's say this is the interval is 0 to 200 let's make it on 50 okay so for that what i'll do is i'll use numpy library and i will use a range from here and in that in a range i will start point give zero and then end point is 1100 and then i'll step it on 50 and let's see this and so this is how you have it separated now between 0 to 200 you can see there are four bins so clearly you can say that these are 50 0 to 50 each bin uh, each hist bar represents to zero uh, range of 50 0 to 50 you have this many transactions 50 to 100 you have this many transactions so the biggest chunk you have is 0 to sorry 50 to 100 and that you have somewhere 130 transactions which range between 0 to 100 all right so now you must be thinking that uh, though we change the interval but it is still looks same on the is on this axis axis how can you change that also this is going to look something uh, cumbersome but still that's a, that works as a solution that is nothing but the matplotlib method which we're going to use over here that is x ticks and in that we will just use this just ignore that above part and here you can see the interval which has been changed now it is looking very complicated let me make it little larger on picture let's say plt dot figure and in that i will say fix size and in fix size i'm gonna say 15 5 and let's run this and now see here we have the interval created on 50 0 to 50 50 to 100 etc so this is how you can change the interval and you can represent it on x axis moving forward now we will try to combine this with kde let's combine this i will write this in text again data equals to mart and then we're gonna use x equals to total and we will see we will see nothing but just kde equals to true so when you say this you're gonna have this kde plot created combined over here so this is nothing but this line which shows the distribution right smooth smooth density distribution what kde is we will learn in the subsequent videos for now this is it right this is how we can combine it next moving forward it says use categorical variable in hue and stack it using multiple argument let me show you what does this mean exactly i will just again copy this syntax to save some time and then i will remove kde from here and then i will use another variable under u and this time it's gonna be a categorical variable 
let me show it to you so here we are just showing payment method distribution of total transaction amount by payment method so like you can see each of the color bar represents to a different payment method all right i understand this does not look good so what we gonna do is we will stack it multiple let's stack it now this look much better here you can say that this is the distribution for transaction of somewhere 70 right and in that the transaction made through cash the number of transactions are this many somewhere 50 and so on this is how you can read it out moving forward here it says make it a step plot or a polyplot using element argument and change the fill right let me just say it element okay let me just draw this first all right so this is the normal histogram now what if i want to show it as a step so for that you're gonna say element equals to step here you can see it right so this is how a step plot can be created if you want to remove its filling color right then you can say fill equals to false all right this is how you can play around the fill also if you want to make it a poly then that can also be done so here we have the poly now if you want to include you that will work here as well You can include hue over here and you can make a plot which looks something like this so this is looking beautiful right now next moving forward here it says use categorical variable and shrink it now this is something where we were creating histogram to see the distribution of a numerical variable you can also create the histogram for a categorical variable let's see how can we do that nothing much is just you need to supply the categorical variable instead of the numeric variable so now here you have the category created for each of the payment method you can see the number of transactions for through credit card there were 300 transactions done right for e-wallet there were this many transactions done all right this looks very close right now let's shrink it little let me just shrink this so and let's say 0 0.7 Ooh, now you have a separate bar for each of the payment method and that still looks better here by default it shows the count you can also let me just remove this and then show you another thing over here right so by default it is showing you the count but you can also change the stats let me show you what all are the stats that you can use over here look i don't know what are the states that we can use so i just pass the blank and here it gives you the list what are what are the things that you can use so let's try probability right let's see what what we get in probability here so it's nothing but shows in the form of percentage right so these many percentages are done uh, for for the transaction amount ranging between 0 to 200 this is the these are the percentage okay let's talk about only this bar only right so this is somewhere 16 percent you can see right this is how you can change the stats as well now you can also create a histogram for two variables two numeric variables right let's try that histogram histoplot histplot and data equals to mart x equals to total and then y equals to let's say what is it that we can plot on y let's plot gross income on y and let's see it so here you have the bivariate histoplot so this is how you can use the histoplot and you can play around it i'll be providing the official website link for histogram for seaboard check that out to learn much more on Thank you very much for watching the video 
and i hope that you liked it just in case if you have any further doubt or feedback just put that into the comment section i read each of the comments and i'll definitely get back to you thank you once again i wish you very all the best